But here's the clip of Wesley Clark on Friday's MSNBC. Well, we've got to identify um, the people who are most likely to be radicalized. We've got to cut this off at the beginning. There are always a certain number of young people who are alienated. They don't get a job. They lost a girlfriend. Their family doesn't feel happy here. Mm -hmm. And we can watch the signs of that. And there are members of the community who will reach out to those people and bring them back in and encourage them to look at their blessings here. But I do think on a national policy level, we need to look at um, at what self-radicalization means because we are at war with um, uh, this group of terrorists. They do have an ideology. In World War II, if uh, someone supported Nazi Germany at the expense of the United States, well, we didn't say that was freedom of speech. Uh, we, we put him in a, in a camp. We, they were prisoners of war. So uh, if these people are radicalized and they don't support the United States and they're disloyal to the United States as a matter of principle, fine, that's their right. It's our right and our obligation to segregate them from the normal community for the duration of the conflict. And I All think right. we're going to have to increasingly get tough on this. Okay, and, and so will Europe, he goes on to say. Here's the problem. They're bringing in record numbers of Muslims from radical countries, from radical sects. I mean, they can look into a database, find out if somebody is a Wahhabist like these folks were connected to.